Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my midweek check-in and it's actually at the start of the week. I'm gonna take you along as I progress through my cleanup this week just to show you how I'm making out and where things are at. Um, so today is the weekend and I'm gonna tackle in my living room this pile of stuff here to start off with. This is all crafting related stuff. Yes, I am a crafter and I have way too much stuff and it, it's a whole other story. But in any event, I do need to catalog these and get them into my computer system and then these can go into the craft space where they belong. So that is what I'm gonna work on for now. Down here, I have an album, a photo album I'm working on and I've got some other stuff. This also needs to go into the craft space. So if I can get this done, that's already gonna go a long way to making the living room look better. So let me get working on this and then I will show you what I'm going to tackle next. Okay, so I'm done with my general tidying. Now we just need to dust and vacuum. I didn't tackle things like this cart because that needs to be organized. In the bottom of these tables here, I have some books and stuff that I need to go through. Again, I'm not in the purging mode quite yet and the sorting mode I am just in the get this kind of somewhat organized so let me dust and vacuum and then we're gonna move on okay everything is dusted vacuumed wiped down this looks so much better now I want to sort through this into piles of what can go so I can put it in my car and get it out of the house and what I want to hold on until I'm finished organizing the rest of my place. These are extra containers I want to hold on to until my apartment's fully reorganized. These two boxes here are going to Goodwill. I started a recycling box. I still have gardening stuff. I need to find some containers to store this and I don't like them in bags. So the next thing I'm gonna do is tackle the desk. As you can see, I'm starting to make progress. I actually repurposed this bin. This is why I have a hard time getting rid of things for some of my gardening stuff. I don't know if this is the ideal solution, but for now, at least it's containing it. I do have this container over here that might also work pretty well, but for now, we're gonna keep that in here and um, until I find a better home for everything in general, that will work. I do have down here some container bags and I think I'm just gonna fill them with dirt and plant some flowers in them. My balcony face is sort of west-ish and I get some really hot sun in the afternoon and I don't know what flowers will grow, but I think these ones might, which is why I bought them. So I think I'm just gonna plant those in there just to see what happens. That's pretty much how the gardening has been this whole year. It's just been an experiment to see what grows and doesn't grow. So I'm gonna take a break from this, do that, cause that solves that problem. And then I will come back and wrap things up, hopefully. Okay, so I think I'm finished going through everything that I can at this point. So I have the two bags with the gardening stuff. I just purchased some containers on Amazon that should be here, I'm just gonna repackage those. I still don't have a permanent home for them, but again, that will come as I sort through the rest of my apartment. Um, this is additional gardening stuff, and then those are those surplus containers. So yes, I still have stuff, but it looks to me a lot better than what was there. And now let me just pan you over to my previous dumping station. It's now clean. I'm so happy this is done and it actually did not take nearly as long as I had made it out in my head that it was going to take. I just had to buckle down and do it. Okay, you guys, so I'm doing my meal prep. This is called seven can taco soup, I believe. I'll leave a link to the recipe below. I am making a couple of modifications. So let me get you set up here. So I'm just gonna brown these onions for a little bit and then I'm going to 
uh, cook up my chicken's eyes. The recipe calls for like rotisserie or pre-cooked chicken and I didn't have any. So we're just going to pre-cook it. I have way too much chicken for the recipe so the leftovers I will keep and use to make a chicken salad for my sandwiches. Now remember you guys, I'm not a cook. <laughs> I just do what needs to be done in order to get some food on the table. I'm going to season that with a little bit of salt and pepper and probably some garlic. My staples. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook and I will come back and show you where we're at. Okay, so you're going to need one can of black beans drained, one can of, they said pinto beans, but I don't typically buy pinto beans, so I'm just going to throw kidney beans in. I'm sure you could do another can of black if you wanted, or whatever other bean is your favorite. One can of corn drained, so I'm going to just empty these all into a colander and drain them. You need one 10 ounce can of diced tomatoes one 10 ounce can of enchilada sauce. You do only need one can or 14 ounces of chicken broth. I don't have any canned chicken broth, but I do have this. And it is 32 ounces, which is more than I need, but I don't want to have leftovers. So I'm just going to use the whole um, container. It just means a soupier soup. One package of taco seasoning. You're going to need some garlic powder, chili powder, and some cumin. Okay, let me get to draining this. My chicken is still cooking. Okay, so I would say this looks done. I'm going to take out about half of this and throw it in a container. Like I said, I'm going to make some chicken salad for sandwiches out of this. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just going to leave the juices and stuff in there. Let me add the beans and corn. Now I'm going to add the chicken broth. We'll add the tomatoes. A stir. So remember, this is going to be soupier than what the uh, recipe calls for. But I think it'll be okay. I think I was supposed to use green enchilada sauce and I have red. Oops. Oh well, you just make do with what you got, right? Okay, now for seasonings. Now you could totally make your own taco seasoning. I'm just going to cheat and use a package that I had on hand. One day I will pre-mix, but today's not it. We just need some flavor boosters. So we're going to put a half teaspoon in of garlic powder, chili powder, and of course, if you don't like any of these flavors, just leave them out and maybe double up on those that you do like. And a half teaspoon of cumin, and you can see I'm really precise. Okay, so it says to bring this up to a boil over medium high heat and then let simmer for 15 minutes. To be honest, I'm probably gonna let it simmer even longer than 15 minutes. I don't. <laughs> As you all know, I don't like to cook, and so what will probably happen is I will go and do something else while this is cooking, and it will probably take me longer than 15, but I don't think it's a bad thing to let something like this simmer for longer. I think it just lets the flavors incorporate a little bit more, and maybe it will even thicken up a little bit because it did add the extra broth. Okay, so we're gonna bring this to a boil, and then turn it down to a simmer, and when it's ready, I will plate it up and we'll see how it looks and how it tastes. Okay, so I probably let it simmer for about an hour because that's just the way I roll. Um, this is the consistency and I think that's pretty good for a soup. So I am going to proportion this out into six servings. I think that's what the recipe called for. So that will give me five meals for later on in the week, one I'm going to eat today. I am going to top it with some cheese. I don't know if I have any sour cream. If I do, I might throw that in there. 
but if not, you could do that. And I also have some tortilla chips. So let me plate this up and I will insert a photo here. Okay, so here is the plated dish. It tastes great. It's definitely gonna go into my list of meals to make that are quick and easy. This is also where I'm going to leave off for my midweek check-in. I am looking forward to the long weekend that we have coming here in the US. Thanks so much for joining me and it's time to get ready for the weekend.